Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Happy New Year once again. Today is uh, the 1st of January 2018, and I wasn't intending on uh, taking any photographs this morning, but uh, it's such a wonderfully uh, frosty and foggy morning that I couldn't resist. So I'm pretty close to home here. I'm just a couple of kilometers from where I live. Uh, this is a little park, or like a city park, called Deer Lake Park. Uh, it's surrounded by apartments. Uh, over to the west there is uh, Metro Town, which is probably the, one of the largest moles in, uh, in Canada. <laughs> and the other side of the park is surrounded by houses. But when it's foggy down here, the fog hides all that uh, city life. And there's, there's some nice trees and uh, frosty leaves and such down here. So I've come down here to, to try and challenge myself. I used to come down here uh, quite a bit when I first started photography. Uh, I haven't been down here for quite a while. I, I guess the problem is, is that familiarity kind of, you know, it, you get a bit bored of coming to the same area over and over again. And to be honest with you, finding subjects here can be a real challenge. Unless you're into photographing uh, waterfowl, there's uh, lots of waterfowl here. And then across the, uh, the highway, uh, there's another park called Burnaby Lake Park, which is quite a bit bigger. And there's uh, quite a lot of waterfowl there to photograph. But anyway, the fog looks great. The frost looks really good. So that's what I'm here for, All right. All right, I, I think I found a composition. Uh, it certainly is not gonna win any awards, that's for sure. Uh, again, it, it would be really nice if there was a little bit of light coming through, that would really help a lot. Uh, the fog is great, uh, but it, it just needs a little bit more interest. But anyway, maybe this will get me motivated to uh, look for some more intricate uh, <laughs> compositions. Uh, what I like about this, uh, this scene here is this uh, little stream here kind of curves around into the foggy woods. Uh, no color, it's very drab looking, but uh, it's kind of a, a neat little scene. Actually, what I really like is uh, this is really quite spongy and frosty and there's all these uh, poplar uh, leaves that are rimmed with, uh, with frost. So. After I've taken this image, I'm going to try and look for uh, a couple of close-ups of, uh, of these leaves here. That's even harder to do because finding, uh, uh, like it's pretty chaotic, so trying to find order out of the chaos or a composition out of uh, ground cover uh, is pretty challenging, but I'm always up for a good challenge. <laughs> right, I'll take this shot and then uh, I'll look for uh, some uh, intimate compositions on the uh, on the floor here
Okay, I think I was a little bit impatient with the light here. The, uh, the sun has started to come out, so it's giving a little bit of a directional light, which is really nice. Uh, this scene is it's pretty simple. It's kind of a, an extension of what I was photographing uh, first thing this morning. Uh, same stream, uh, looking towards the, uh, the foggy forest here. It's quite pretty, actually. Uh, I, I really like the, the grasses. They're really, they're really nice. So this kind of relates to what I was talking uh, about uh, in my video uh, when I was at uh, Golden Ears uh, the other day. Uh, and this is kind of a, a similar situation. It's very subtle though. You'll notice that the, the grasses here that are getting a little bit of direct sunlight are quite a bit warmer than the, the foggy background here. And that adds a really nice contrast to, to any image. Uh, the trick is, is not to overdo it when you're uh, processing the image. Uh, you know, you don't want to necessarily oversaturate the blues or the, the warm tones because it just kind of ruins the, the subtlety of the, of the whole image. So, uh, I mean, compositionally, it, it's not a bad photograph, uh, but I really like the light right now. It's very soft and uh, has that really wonderful contrast in it. So that's what I'm going for in this image. Again, I am shooting for the light and I, I cannot overemphasize light. <laughs> I'll keep harping at it in, in uh, all of my videos uh, because that is what you're really after is, is photographing the light and then look for a composition that fits the light. All right. Keep moving with this and uh, and see how it works out could be really crap <laughs>here's something to keep in mind if you are uh, a drone flyer. Uh, I was just flying the little Mavic Pro here in, uh, in the fog, which really isn't a great idea, but if you want to get atmospheric uh, video, then, uh, you know, you've got to go and uh, take a few chances now and then. Uh, but it's quite cold out today, and I started to get a, a bunch of error messages on the, uh, on the monitor here. And I just landed it, and what was happening is uh, I was getting uh, ice build up on the uh, propellers, and of course uh, it was uh, causing the uh, the little drone to uh, to go all out of whack. So <laughs> I had to land it and take the uh, the ice off the off the props so that it'll uh, it'll fly a little bit better now. I think. Anyway, just something to keep in mind. <laughs> Right, the, uh, the sun keeps coming in and out, so it's kind of inconsistent. Now I found this really great little scene right here. It might be too subtle, I'm not sure though. There's uh, these, uh, I think they're silver birch here, and uh, these uh, sedges, which is kind of a, well, I think they're sedges. Or maybe it's spirea and, uh, and dogwood. Uh, but they're kind of a, a reddish brown color so there's a nice contrast and they're just fringed with a little bit of frost now there's two compositions here there's one with there's grasses in the foreground uh, which add, add a nice contrast but i'm not really sure if it's going to work or not so i'm going to take a few images with the grasses and then some without because we have yellow grasses and then the red kind of uh, dogwood and spirea and then the, the silver birch. I mean, it, like I said, it's, it's very subtle, 
Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to work, but uh, with this light and a little bit of fog, uh, it has a, a really nice uh, ethereal mood to it. Okay, so the way that uh, Deer Lake lies, it's kind of in a bit of a, a valley, and uh, so I'm kind of up on the, up on the plateau that kind of overlooks the park. It's it's not very far or very high; it's just a, a few meters. Um, now the fog, I've I found some pretty nice trees up here covered in uh, a little bit of moss, but they seem to have some quite nice shapes here. So I'm trying to compose uh, this tree back here in such a way that. It has these branches kind of in the in the foreground, and then the uh, the fog is really giving the scene a, a lot of separation from the background, so it's not so busy. So I think it might work quite well. Uh, it's turning out to be a, a really nice New Year's Day. There's a, a lot of people out here walking, probably walking off their uh, hangovers. <laughs> right, I'm going to try this one, and then down here, there's a. A dead uh, snag here and I'm gonna see if I can get some shots of that as well um, behind me here the the fog is just beautiful with this this uh, I think there's a big leaf maple right there yeah it's really quite nice here today find uh, sword ferns here they're just rimmed with uh, frost all around the edges so it has lots of neat kind of detail so another kind of wallpaper shot pattern shot uh, I just love stuff like this this is this is really quite pretty uh, there is a brown leaf in there that I'm not too keen on but I'm just gonna leave it in there because I know if I try to take it out uh, I'll just ruin it <laughs> so I'll just leave it for now believe how fast the time went I thought it was still sometime in the morning maybe noon but uh, it's actually 3 30 <laughs> so so much for having uh, breakfast I guess I'll be going home to have some lunch regardless uh, it was a great start to 2018 and uh, I hope uh, your shooting starts off uh, as well as mine has uh, the light today was just beautiful anyway as always 
if you uh, enjoyed this video please be sure to give me a thumbs up and uh, if you don't want to miss out on future content be sure to subscribe all right until uh, until next time thanks ever so much bye bye